Welcome design students. In this video we're going to apply a particle effect called fluids to create a flame for our candle. But before we get started I want to show you a couple things. Worked a little bit more on my candle. Worked on this drip here. I extruded it out a little more so it stands out from the rest of them. And I worked on this drip at the base here. And to make it easier to do that I took my candle, I centered the pivot, and I rotated it to match the world orientation. And then I changed my tool setting to world so that I could more easily extrude and manipulate the wax strips. So I've watched a number of videos on how to do this on uh, YouTube, but the best one I found is from this gentleman, Sarkamari here. He has a really great channel on FX in Maya, and if you want to explore it further, I encourage you to do so. So let's get started. You need to start by changing to the FX menu set, and then you're going to find fluids right here. And we are going to create a 3D container. We need to bring up its options because there are a number of things you can set in here. But what we need to do is uncheck Add Emitter because we're going to emit from the candle wick. And click Apply and Close. That creates this giant green box here which will contain the fluid. And here is the box in our world outliner. So let's go ahead and go to the Attributes Editor. We're going to change some of its settings. Naturally, it's obviously too big, so we're going to change its size. This is X, Y, and Z, so let's make this 1, 2, and 1. And then let's move this up, sit it on top of the candle, and focus on it by pushing F on the keyboard. And I think this could be even smaller, so let's make it uh, 0.5, 1.5. Now, your dimensions may be entirely different. It depends on the scale of your scene. And another thing you need to understand about effects is that the settings that I'm going to use may not totally work on yours because your scene scale may be different. If it doesn't work exactly like mine, you need to play with the settings. All simulations that use physics are based on the scale of the scene because they're based on real world dimensions. So if things are really small or really big, they won't work exactly as intended. So one of the first things we need to do is come over here and under the um, contents method rollout here, we need to turn on temperature and it needs to be dynamic grid and everything else can stay the same. And then we need to make the cylinder of the, the wick cylinder be the emitter. So select the cylinder, hold down shift, select the fluid container, and then go up to fluids. Add Edit Contents, Emit from Object. And now we have created a new group over here with the wick as part of it. And if we open that group, you'll see the little fluid emitter right there. So go ahead and select it and come over to the Attributes Editor, the Attributes Panel. And we're going to have to change the uh, rate here to 600, maybe even 800 would be a good number. And we're going to have to change the uh, heat per voxel per set rate here to 1.5. Everything else can stay the same. And remember that voxels are basically 3D pixels. And we're not going to be able to see this unless we push play. And we're going to want to see it for longer than 200 frames. So come down here to your timeline and increase the number of frames here to uh, 800. And then grab your zoom slider and zoom out so you can see them all. And then let's right click on the timeline and change our playback speed to play every frame max real time. And you may have to turn off cached playback by unchecking this box. If it gives you trouble and doesn't work, do that. And then when we play this, you'll see that the fluid comes up and basically fills this little box. If you push stop and you want to go back to the first frame, just click this button right here. And now that we've got this set up, I think we'll come back in the next video and work on all the settings because it's going to take some time and I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll see you in the next video. We'll make this look more like a flame. 